It's gonna Ooh. be a banger. If this is, then this is gonna be a risk. Yes, it's it Exodia. Is. Oh my and god. Alex are Alex are a Meta Knight out of Toronto. Exodia, one of the best players in Kendo with that ZSS. This is gonna be an incredible match, everybody. Two very, very solid players. Yeah, and this is the first match we've seen so far of two players that we expect to do very well in this yes. tournament. Exodia coming off a, uh, I believe a yeah, 13th at Battle of Beast. Something, something he did like it that. very, very well. Took a set off of Larry Lur. And Alex R, one of those very consistent players coming out of Toronto. I see this guy in top eight graphics yeah. basically nonstop. And with Meta Knight, a character typically considered pretty bad. Again, well, yeah, like I said, very consistent. It's very rare that you see Alex R just kind of fumble, you know, fumble in the tournament. This is definitely the most even match we're going to see, or we've seen to this point. Honestly, I have no idea who is going to win this. I have no idea who I expect to win this. But Exodia is definitely someone you cannot sleep on. One of the best players in Canada for sure. Um, Alex R, definitely someone else. If they do win this match, expect them to make it very deep in this tournament. But up to this point, incredibly even. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, Meta Knight being one of those weird characters, Exodia's only Meta Knight experience is me and friendlies. So, <laughs> so, so good or bad? <laughs> I, my Meta Knight's like serviceable. It's not not as good as Alex R's for sure, but you know, it, it, it's sufficient to say he does not have Meta Knight experience. Oh. He is not familiar with what the character does, and I, I'm not sure how familiar Alex R is with Zero Suit either. This character is uh, on the rare side as well. Un unless I'm um, missing somebody, we don't really have any ZS dashes in our region. A couple of Ooh, secondary the characters. Match. But no one who really plays the character, like you said, as we get that up smash right there. Exodia with the early lead, but Meta Knight, especially when it's in the hands of Alex R, very dangerous. Probably going to start That'll to see kill. the backers yeah. coming through, like we saw right there again. Dead, even, and this is 100% going to be the closest set that we see on there. Absolutely. And one of those things that, you know, Exodia is very willing to do is just let that up smash rip. It occupies so much airspace, and because of Zero Suit's really, really strong dash speed, it actually also acts as the burst option that he can approach with. You'll see Exodia mix that in with the Zare pressure to keep you guessing on if he's going to approach or if he's going to keep poking at you. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's a definitely a really, really good point. I actually fully expect to see the up smash coming through relatively soon as we see Exodia manage to build this really big lead. Does lift that pivot grab, but really no punish there from Alex R. Oh! With the pressure with that flip jump. Yep. If Alex R had air dodge in, he actually would have gotten buried <laughs> out yep. of that. Exodia uses that as a mix-up to try and catch you. And missing the Zare bear, one of the nice things about Meta Knight Ooh. is that he's pretty small. Yep. He's able to get around a, a lot of those kill confirms for a little bit longer than other characters are, and it also means Exodia has to be a little more precise on the Zare timing, on the Nair timing. That being said, Exodia, at your fall is stuck. Yeah, again, this match really close. Both these players really, really well, but Exodia basically doing that second stop almost without getting hit, only taking, what, like 10, 15% or something like that. And just like that, this game has blown wide open for Exodia. If Alex has anything left in his bag of tricks, definitely have to whip it out right now because Exodia is a player who I would never want to be playing from behind against. Absolutely. Another frustrating thing about Zero Suit in this matchup is she's a fastballer and yep. she's skinny. It yep. makes the Meta Knight, Meta Knight ladders super hard on her because if she's SDI at all uh, and if she's DIing correctly, she pretty reliably gets out. Yeah. And one more thing about Zero Suit, because she's so skinny, her oh, a lot of uh, man. But a lot of her aerials, she shifts her hurt blocks around a lot with a lot of her aerials too, which makes it even harder to hit her, especially since she's so skinny and so quick. And Meta Knight, not the greatest hit, like decent size hitboxes, but all of them back air, they're really not the greatest. Yeah, um, the, so it's going to be really hard to consistently get hits on ZSS. The problem with Meta Knight's hitboxes, and people don't talk about this very much, is not actually the size, mm -hmm. right? Meta Knight up air, down air, stuff like that are yeah. pretty big, decently right? Sized, they're yeah. decently sized, they're pretty serviceable. The problem with them is, is they're only active for one frame, yep. right? And so when you get that hurtbox shifting in, even if it dodges it by just a little, you don't have any extra frames to catch it on the way back. And so Meta Knight often misses, not because his moves are small, but because of how precise you actually need to be with them. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's, it's a sword character. Like a lot of other sword characters, you don't have to be as precise, obviously, because you have that range. MK basically has a sword, but really doesn't. If you kind of know what I'm saying, has to play right. that, has to play that boxing match. And again, we see a little bit of a ladder off the side, but he's only able to convert it into a fair and a character that's so big on killing you early, and that's yep. his X Factor. You want more than 40. Yeah, and once you get into that, what, like 80 to 90% rage from MK, 
Kind of similar to like Bayonetta, that's where you start to see the combos and stuff not really start to connect as well. And like you said, as a character who depends on those combo strings and those early kills to get something around, this is the time where you really have to get a KO or you're really going to start to struggle. Absolutely. You want to see those early kills. You want to see the setups, you know. You want to see him run into an F smash or something, but Exodia... Oh, good go. There we go. Yeah, great coverage very coming out nair. from Alex R there. Pressured off stage very quickly. Used the nair to cover the flip jump back to ledge. Baited out perfectly. And that's the kind of pressure we want to see from Alex R now. Whoa. Big miss on that upbeat from Exodia. But that flip kick, just using that as a get out of jail free card, one of ZSS's best tools. Any other character would have got punished really big for that. But once again, ZSS, that flip kick is just such a good get off of me option. Yeah, that move's pretty good. I don't know if you know, but... Uh, it's, it's, it's okay. But you know, it's got invulnerability for like half of it. And yeah. uh, it's pretty fast. And it, it, it kind of doesn't have any lag. And you can kind of, you know, if you really want to, you could turn it into like a kill move. And then like, <laughs> if you don't turn it into like a kill move, but you land on someone, it also just becomes a kill move again. And, uh, <laughs> yes, that's good. Oh no! Oh, the, the TI! That was should... so bad! Uh, that was that Mario Party. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh that, my god! That was that Mario Party DI. I, I didn't even comment on that. I'm like, yeah, yeah, he's good. Oh, <laughs> oh my Man, goodness. You ever play Mario Party? Got them games where you gotta spin the stick around oh a bunch. Gosh. That was basically what Alex R was doing right there. That definitely should not have KO. And just like that, Exodia putting himself right back into this game actually has oh, the lead. But, okay. Thankfully, the DI was bad on the upbeat. The DI was not bad on the nair. Exodia, gonna be. Okay, please, Are you fine? Right? Oh. Alex, R. Alex, Alex, my bo Alex, my buddy. You buddy. Can, you can live that, I promise. Buddy. You should. I, I, I assure you. you unless, should unless. Okay. Unless Meta Knight is like a lot lighter than I think he is. He's light, but like, I really feel like you should survive one of them. I, I think you should be living that. At, at the very least, it shouldn't look like it's killing you free at yeah. sub 90 like that. <laughs> yeah, on anyways, yeah, definitely gotta work on that DI. Uh, Exodia one stock away from taking this game and looking really, really good here. All right, the blaster coming out. What was a pretty big, you know, lead on the side of Alex R was just stolen away with a couple really early kills from Exodia. That yeah. upbeat coming in so clutch. And now Alex R has to approach Honestly, one of the shiftiest characters in the game. Yeah, CSS definitely hard to hit. Like you said, very, very shifty. Really good at just shifting her hurt boxes when she uses her aerials. Obviously, that flip kick, like you said, pretty decent move. Pretty decent move. Yeah, it's all right. It's, it's all right. It's, it's, it's all right. It's usable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Then again, yeah, yeah, but in all seriousness, it's going to be really hard for Alex R to get this game, um, especially playing this far behind. That being said, he's, he's done a good job of racking on percent. An up out of shield would probably do it uh, around yeah. this percent for Alex R. And Exodia doesn't quite have him in kill percent yet unless he hits something crazy, but... Oh, do okay. not. Please, this, this is gonna kill him. That... Yeah. That one... Unless... That one I think should have killed, because it was a little higher. Yeah. Uh, but... It, like, uh, it's, it's tough, man. It's tough. It, it's not what you want to see. And again, we said Bayonetta, or not Bayonetta, but Zero Suit Samus is not a common character in this game. And no. so when you run into one like Exodia, who is so, so good and has maimed her for a kajillion years at this point, yeah. you know, stuff like that happens. And it, if you're not ready for it, you're going to get blown up a little bit. And you, you could even hear me if you go back and watch. As soon as he got hit with that Zare, I literally said, 